Hey everybody, welcome to our track challenge. My name is Ben underscore Burns. Today we'll be writing a song in two hours or less. Uh, a little quiet chat this morning, uh, this afternoon. It's four o'clock almost. It's not morning anymore. Um, so I don't really have a whole lot planned for today. Um, I think I'm just going to try to keep rolling with the chill vibes. Uh, that seems to be working with me. Um, I don't really have a whole lot else going on. Somebody just sent me a message. I want to make sure that it's not... Okay. Um, it's one of those things where I'm always paranoid if I'm actually streaming or not. If somebody's like frantic frantically sending me a message on Discord being like, It said you went live, but you're not live. But I'm live. Um, so... Uh, yeah, so I don't know if I'm gonna go, like, chill or whatever. I was- I was kind of talking to myself a little bit before- before, uh, the YouTube marker, and I was like, maybe I'll just go full gremlin mode today. That seems to be popular lately, uh, and I'm okay with that too, um, but really, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, uh, find some random samples and- and just smack stuff around and see what we can do from there. Um, no real- no real direction, just kinda- flopping around and see what happens. So I'm actually going to go to my splice packs because those tend to have more... Oh, thanks, lady. Thanks for showing your butt on camera, which is still technically possible to do on Twitch, but no gambling. Um, <clears throat> see, the problem with this is that it's like a whole song. Wow, I cannot find the right keys. There it is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. B minor, which I can like, I can bump up to C minor. Uh, actually, let's let's roll with it and see what happens. I do like Oliver's stuff. I'm just, uh, I'm just hesitant to jump into something that has so much going for it, like right away. Um, Hey, Toxic. You're back. You weirded me out, because you said, like, welcome to the chat room, and I didn't notice it was from, like, 15 minutes ago. I was like, is my is my stream broken? <laughs> but I figured you just went AFK. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I really want to do this. Like, the problem with this is that it, there's so much to it. Even if we just take these, like, big chords. I don't know. Yeah, there's, de there's like, definitely options here. But it feels like I would be, uh... I'd be hemming myself in really quickly um and i don't i don't really want to do that yeah i don't i don't this is a beautiful sample but it's not for me right now Hi, Trevor. Yeah, Trevor... Trevor wants his attention. Because it's not being given to him right now. Which is a crime. Um, yeah, like like I kind of said when I, I started streaming, I really don't know what I'm going to be doing today. Um, which, you know, that's okay. You just got to find that hook and then you run with it. But 
up until then it's just kind of like it's a little scary you know you don't really know what's going on you just you just kind of roll with what you got and So what happens if we take this and wash it in reverb? Scone zone. How you doing? <laughs> so, Zaxis and I were talking about Supermassive today. And I was like, um, napkin story. Those are usually like a, like a one sentence story or something, unless you're talking about something completely different. Um, <clears throat> the one problem I have with supermassive is that I'm unable to push these in different directions. So I'm going to go with actual Valhalla delay because it is uh, objectively superior, because I can go like this. Wah, wah. Is a valid greeting. I don't know about that. I've never really heard of that before. Um, This is an F minor. Good job, Ben. You got to work outside your boundaries at least once in a while. You know, I think I will be okay with this song if it's just like super chill with these. Um, and I'm going to lower the resonance remember on this a little bit. Remember to save. Hey, everybody, remember to stave it off. One, two, three. Uh, now you can count to three. Sorry, that was an incredibly obscure Homestar, refer Homestar Runner reference. <laughs> that nobody probably got, but uh, I found it funny. Uh, I said, uh, remember to stave it off one, two, three, and now you can count to three when the remember to save uh, thing popped. Um, okay, so I want to I want to work on this a little bit more because it's pretty mushy. No cats, just uh... Oh well, cat cam is window cam, I guess.
Nah. Squirrels are being assholes lately. They've been digging through my plants. Yeah. So I've been trying to I've been trying to catch them and send them to a park. Because uh, they've been assholes lately. The asshole cam is unfortunately not allowed on Twitch right now. Um, so that's why people go to other websites for that. Um, <laughs> although gambling's not allowed anymore, apparently. Um, which, like, I get. But there's so many other vectors for kind of like... Uh, deviant behavior on Twitch, where it's just kind of like, was that really the big problem that you had? But that's a whole nother conversation. So I have to remember, yeah, it's a legal one. I, I, I get it. It's just like, there's so many other things that are going on. No, I don't need the base. Hey, Tito. There's a lot of, like, drinks and stuff over here. I know. You want to say hi. Do you want to... Okay, you don't want to be up here, though. Here. Oh, you got to say hi to first. Oh! Why is the webcam cropped like that? That's weird. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, jeez. Wee. That's really pretty. Um, So why is it not doing the reverse? I I know I never really I don't understand how some of this stuff works. Oh, it's just really quick. Okay. So let's go like this. So the problem is I don't want to make it I don't want to make it too obnoxiously huge. But honestly, like if we have this going for a bit and we just do some piano over it I think that that's kind of a cool start to the song so Sorry, I'm I'm still translating from C minor to F minor. So we'll probably add some like drums and stuff over this. Thank you. 
Oh, that was too early. <laughs> Yeah, we need to we need to do more stuff. This is just me doodling over whatever. So this this needs more stuff to it first, I think. I like the base, like the the structure of this. I think that it sounds nice. Um and it doesn't have to be complex, but I think this is really going to rely on um kind of our narrative direction for this. So I guess the first question is like what does this sound like? Tito, you can't come over here. There's no space for kitties. Yeah, you knock stuff off too, so I have to move all this. Ah, <sighs> oh, man. Um... So I think, like like I said, I think we have a good structure for, like, something. But, like, where does that structure go? What what does this, what does this bring to the table, you know? I still want to try to get Yum Audio, like, this, this slap to work, too. Because it creates... I've been trying to experiment with different ways to make it work. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. We're... We're just, like, messing with stuff. Okay, no clip for this, but I do like the spray. I kind of like that thuddiness to it. Okay, let's like try to do something because I'm just like spinning my wheels right now and it kind of sucks. So let's just add stuff and then we can remove stuff later. I'll have to fix this up, but that's okay. Um, so, I'm getting, like, kind of summer vibes, you know? So, like, uh, I don't know, like, this might end up with the lo-fi, like, the lo-fi hip-hop sort of vibe, which I'm okay with. Like, I have nothing against lo-fi as long as it's done, like, intelligently. Um, which kind of isn't intended to demean the genre, but I feel like a lot of people just slap loops together and then don't even try to put like some of their own creative work into it. Um, which isn't everybody. Again, I'm not trying to like, cause that's literally what I'm doing here, but 
So what do I know? I'm just a gremlin too. We're all just gremlins together. But I want something like really minimal. There. Okay, please stop playing though. Yes, we we understand. It's it's a cool cool loop. Um Really for this, I just want like the middle bits and I just want to compress the heck out of it. Tito's squeak is really weird. He's just like... Sound flat. Yeah, let's just do something real basic today. I'm okay with that, honestly. Oh, that's not the, that's not the notes, though. Um, remember to save. It just feels like the wrong note. I guess it's better on the sub, um, but we can fix that up a little bit. If that's loud enough, Jesus. Why does that sound off? Does that sound off to anybody else, or am I just losing my mind? I don't know if the bass guitar could fix that. Um, see something. Hey Amy, how are you? I wonder if it's the sample that's off. Thank you. 
It just feels like it's sharp. And I don't know if that's my brain or if that's like the actual sample. And I don't think I could just put a tuner on here. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm glad I'm not going crazy. Um, because... I don't know. I feel like I'm spinning my wheels on this one too. Um, so... Oh my gosh, why does my phone keep going off? Stop it. I have enough concentration issues already today. Um... 921, nice, chill, but no. Um, you know, I don't mind starting over. I would rather start over now than, um, you know, in 20 minutes, but I just don't feel like I'm getting anywhere with this. I, I, I really do like what I have too, but I just can't. I just can't. I don't know. It's one of those days. Like, I... I, I started today being like, man, I'm in a great mood, but I know today's challenge is going to be tough. Um, which, you know, it's fine. I, uh, um... I just, like, I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm in this place where it's, like, everything, uh, all of the songs that I've been doing lately have been, like, neat and cool. And I know the other shoe has to drop at some point. Um. Which doesn't, it's not a bad thing. It's just me trying to figure out what works and what doesn't. And it's, like, it's a, it's a natural process in the budding artist's life. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. No, I don't want recent files. Please go away. This is kind of neat. Get out of here. We can make spooky stuff. this though let's 
So we can basically set curves like this so it's fading into itself. So it should loop seamlessly now, or close to seamlessly. Yeah, perfect. So this has some interesting vibes to it. Oh, Amy. <laughs> I spent 10 seconds learning that today. Um, so. <laughs> Anyway, getting back to the spooky stuff. I know I'm a monster. Um, <clears throat> um, yeah, like some cool drone stuff would be nice. I, I do like that this provides some of its own percussive stuff too. See, the problem with Final Fantasy VI, uh, VI is that those songs will never leave your head. They they permanently reside there now, and you cannot remove them. Um, so, sorry, but I guess you put that on yourself. Um, do I have a mandolin? Oh, one track. Oh, so you're saying like go like um like this. That's kind of cool. Um I don't I don't know if I have a mandolin. I have uh what might be something neat here. Oh, let me do a new preset here. Oops, no, I want sample so I can granulize it because this It's not as tonal as I'd want it to be. Um, I'm not really sure what to do today, you know? <laughs> oh man there we go Mandolin, huh? So this is this is gonna be one of those streams that just kind of bumbles around until something neat happens, and I'm okay with that. Um, but I don't have a mandolin. Really? Well, that stinks. Um. So where are we going with this? I, I do like... 
I do like this vibe, but I want to make sure that what we do uh, remains within this kind of creepy vibe. So one thing we can do, if we really wanted to go with the spooky vibe, is there's thrill. And I really have not used a lot of thrill. But this is exactly what this is for. So if we want to go incredibly ambient, <laughs> yeah, we can double that up for a heartbeat too. Um, I was kind of thinking that, but I didn't. Now, I actually kind of like it like this. So, the infested power grid is actually a really cool... Okay. Um, so, Thrill is kind of a... Kind of a weird one to work with. So it should retain all that. Yeah, so now the, all the automation moves the knobs for me. Um, yeah, like Shepard's tones and... This is pretty bassy, though. That's not what I want. Probably. Remember to save. <laughs> hey, everybody remember to save. Um, I guess we're just doing Halloween early this year, huh? Um, yeah, I don't know if I want that, though. <sighs> why does the- why do the neighbors always have to mow when I'm streaming? God! There's no cats in here anyway, so I guess I'll turn off the cat cam. It's one of those days, huh? It's just one of those days where everything's hecked up, and nothing makes sense. And, you know, you still gotta stream. But, ugh. So, the infested power grid. I like that a lot. Something weird. Yeah, this actually works pretty well. Um, so we could actually do the same thing with this. We can get that shepherd's, that shepherd's tone kind of thing if we go like this and we just... I think if we bounce it like this...
I don't know. Maybe that's too much. Um, I also feel like I'm just getting too abstract and I'm losing what I'm trying to do here. What it here does... Easy mix down tempo trip hop in. Yeah. Interesting. See, I've never done this before, so I guess it's a learning experience. Um... But today was really not a day that I wanted to do some crazy. Oh my god, that was loud. Um, some crazy ex experimental music, so I don't really know what I want to do. Oh my god. Oh. Like, you know, it's just one of those days. It's fine. Um, but it's just like, can we not do this today and then just make a cool thing and then just move on with our lives? <laughs> Would that be too hard? But I guess that's kind of part of the process, you know. Where is it? It's called Pitch? That's Pitch Hack. I'm looking for... What the hell am I looking for? Chorus, delay, drum, echo, erosion. They changed the name of it in Ableton 11. Just for, like, pitch shifting. Oh, it's called Shifter now. God. Ever have one of those days where everything's just fighting you? Everything is fighting you. Holy cow. I can't conceptualize this idea. At least not right now. I don't I don't know what It's got some neat chords though. Poopy piano started doing some upbeat jazz. <laughs> Thank you. 
I think part of the problem is that these samples are they fill up the the mix so much there's like nothing left for for anything um I kind of want to I kind of want to try to realize this. I kind of want to make try to make this work. Uh even if it's a stream that's just like kind of meh. I think that it's better than I think it's better to try than do something that's a little bit safer. Yeah. Yeah, I I agree. I was just I have it in the foreground cuz I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing. Um but it it's pretty easy. I can just like get uh like a reverb or something and set the wet up pretty high. Now you're talking my language. Where's the pedal? Because apparently it didn't didn't record that. Okay. Well, that's something. Now that you mentioned Black Earth. Um, like, I think we can go somewhere with this, um, if we kind of orient ourselves in a way that meshes with, um, kind of dark jazz, dark ambient, that kind of stuff, instead of just being like straight up, Hey, this is spooky, 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 spook. Um, if we, if we like try to do a, um, something that's more kind of uh black earthish or something along that line i think that we should be good to maybe find some It's deceptively hard. These do have to be on. <laughs> I forget, is, is being a chat a good thing or a bad thing? I always forget. So the one, the one thing I like about this, um, is there's a couple, there's a couple songs on black earth that basically just have a baseline that just loops like this it's not complicated sometimes it's even just going up this like like the, the um the chord it's like except it's like down here um you know and it just does that through the whole song um and i think this works
So this, I, I, I'm, I'm into this now. Like, I'm so glad that you mentioned Black Earth and I, that I stuck with this for the extra like five minutes, uh, because now I'm like, oh yeah, I can, like the the whole path for this has like really crystallized a little bit more for me. And that's like, that's the real cool and also shitty thing about being an artist, where you're just like. Do I invest another 10 minutes into this pile of garbage and maybe it's great? Or do I move on to the next thing? <laughs> um, and it's just like, you don't know until you sit down and you like put the effort in to do it. But it's also like, am I wasting my time slash life? Am I loud? I'm yelling today. I don't know. Why am I yelling so much? Hello, Zaxis. How are you? Um, I, I, I don't know. Like, it's real. Remember to save. It's real rem remember to save vibes, you know? Um, no, like, I just, it's really hard to find that vibe. Uh, but now we're getting into some like really cool oppressive vibes and I, I really dig that. And yeah, Diablo 2 had some amazing like ambience and obviously it had some really great melodic stuff too, but I don't know, man, I haven't played that game in forever. I'm sure that's a huge nostalgia trip too. I kind of want to put a little bit more of a a little bit more of a dunk on this um, this uh, this base. See if I could. I still I I know. Stop trying to make fetch happen. But I really want I really want this to have like I'm trying to figure out how to make this thing work for me because I really love it. But it just like it's tough. doesn't really fit here, huh? <laughs> okay, well, it's a little bit. I don't know. I'm still messing with everything. Um, I, I don't know, like, so if we're going with the song title, uh, what was it like corruption in the power grid or something, the infested power grid, which I really like, and I'm going to, I'm going to steal and now it's mine. Um, but thank you for the, for the suggestion. It actually really is a good one. Uh, the, uh, he, the infested infested power grid yeah yeah why not um <clears throat> yeah it was jank hey captcha
wasn't um I haven't I watched this anime like last year, but in in serial serial experiment lane wasn't like um didn't it eventually end up like god lived in the the power network or something like that or like the 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 internet and like it had to like manifest into reality to like the the story for that show was bananas if you really started to dig into it Lane was a very good show that made very little sense unless you paid a lot of attention to it. And even then it was pretty nuts. Um, Lane is, I think it's only a 15 or 16 episode anime, um, and it is crazy. <laughs> like, it's it's one of those animes that, like, nothing happens, not nothing, but very little happens for so long, and then everything happens at the same time, and you're just like, oh my god. <laughs> um, it's It's very good. Uh, from what I remember, and I'm glad that I, I took the time to watch it again, you know, fairly recently. It, it has a very weird vibe to it. It's very slow paced. Yeah, let's actually start resolving some chords, maybe. Oh yeah. No, you'd love it. Like that's that's 100% your shit. Um I don't know if it like specifically talks about Jungian f psychology, but it definitely has that vibe around it where it's just like um we're all connected at a fundamental level and all of a sudden the internet like manifested that into something of a reality and um oh, man, I honestly can't remember the show well enough to give it a good um like synapsis but i know there's a lot of yeah the, the pacing is very it's very slow it, it's a very slow burn um which you know is not people's jams and that's okay And unfortunately, it's one of those shows that you can't just like put on in the background because there's so much like visual stuff that happens that is either relevant or it helps explain the underlying story of it more. So you can't just like you can't just listen to it, you know. Um, Not entirely sure why uh, the base uh, is having some problems here, but I'm going to try to resolve that.
we're we're cooking on this one though um it doesn't mean that this song has to be a, a hundred years long which i don't think it will be um Oh no, it is absolutely not the same as Matrix. <laughs> not not even a little bit. Um Like maybe the the very very underlying subject what did I just hit? Uh the very underlying subject matter is similar, but uh beyond that, um no, it is nowhere similar. Um so whoever recommended that to you uh was a liar. And you should no longer be friends with them. Um, so we're going <laughs> to drop that and move on. Um, so, yeah. Okay, that should fix that problem. Dave. Oh, yeah. Animatrix was great. Uh, some of them were, some of them were kind of cringy in the way that, um, um, Love Death Robots is just like, this was made by a crew of dudes that were, um, very thirsty. <laughs> um, but for a lot of it, it's just like, wow, this is actually like really cool exploration of like how things actually happened. Um, and like lore wise, it, ex it expands it a lot more, so... Yeah, um, Love Death Robots is a real mixed bag for me because I, conceptually, I love it, but it's just like, can you guys, like, make one thing that's not, like, relentlessly horny, please? Because I would, um, because I really just want to enjoy, like, storylines and <laughs> not be like, oh, God, more of this, huh? Um, which, you know... I guess you got to do what you got to do to get the it maybe I'm misremembering its axis that's entirely possible um, it's been over 20 years since I've watched that Uh, I don't think we actually need another layer of this. Um, it's entirely possible that I, 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 I experienced it wrong. Listen. I mean... There's lots of things in this world. Why is this still, like, glitching out like that? Like, this top note is, like, not triggering for some reason. I guess we just have to cut it off sooner. Um, I don't know. Oops, that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Blop. Um, That's too much. to save. 
Oh, do I have the pedal on still? Is that... Yep, okay. It's just, uh... Never ending here, is it? <laughs> Payback. I feel like we need like more layers. So okay, let's let's look let's look at it this way. What's happening in this? The infested power grid, which could mean a lot of different things. This is something that could be like an alien took over the power grid or like Zombies have, like, infested the actual power station um, and you need to clear them out. Or, like, just the the kind of... Um, this has a very, not necessarily hopeless feeling, but very oppressive feeling. And I'm wondering if we can tap into that more. I don't even know what this compressor's doing. Literally nothing. Oh, I got some of that. That's a good thought. It's privatized. That is scary. Timing it like that doesn't work. This actually works better, I think. I just don't... I The, the problem with this is it might make it sound like actual cell phone interference with their speakers, <laughs> which kind of... It's like, it's like putting a siren on your song. Because that's literally what's happening here. I mean, we could do some cool transition stuff here. Why does this only go to that? Um, um, with a resonator bank? Um, yeah, we can look into that. So I also think that we can um, axe this stuff. Not like ask it a question, because I know that that's what somebody's going to say next. Um, but. Yeah, have a good night. Yeah, uh, this is this is a, a weird one. I like it a lot so far. That's a. Pose a query. I mean. I guess that works, too. Ableton, please, please, no. Okay, I guess I guess you're gonna you're gonna go to sleep too, Ableton, huh? Hey, there we go. You figured it out. Um, 
So the problem with this loop is the automation is a different length than the <laughs> than the thing. So uh, it causes some problems. Um, but yeah, like putting a resonator on here, that could that could help a little bit. I <laughs> listen. I I really would like to try Bitwig out. I think I even have it installed. Maybe I don't have it installed. Um, I want to, I do want to try other systems because, uh, I mean, I've had, I've had bit like the Bitwig installer on my computer for probably two years now, and I just haven't, uh, had the opportunity to give it a big try. Oh, I already upgraded. I upgraded my PC like, uh, four months ago. So that's not the problem. It's just me understanding how Ableton works is the problem. Um, so, how about this? It is a nice uh, pad, it's just not doing what I want it to. I also feel like it needs more grunge to it. Now you're really loud for no per particular reason. That's what I'm talking about. It's like some days you just have to fight. You just have to fight the thing you're working with because it's just not. Music production's like a rodeo, <laughs> right? Yes, that was a velocity issue. It's like I want to evolve this song, but I'm not entirely sure in what direction works the best.
I need like a palate cleanser. My brain is fried. I read sudden gent as student debt, and I was very confused. Um. <clears throat> I'm wondering if we can like start incorporating um, an arpeggio into this. It also helps if I had rhythm, which apparently I don't right now. Um, See, that's too fast, and this is too slow. Oh, that should be okay. Get this out of there. So... We, we got rid of this microtonal like vocal thing, which I think is for the best. Um, I like it, but I think that it's kind of overpowering the whole song. And I wanted to make sure that, you know, other parts of this track. Yeah, less is more. I need to remember that. I'm very bad at that. Okay, this can actually work. Whoa. That reverb, though, Rom does a really good job at creating some super atmospheric reverb. Re reverb, reverberb. Um, I, there's reverb on here too, but we won't talk about that. Um, I think I also have the pedal inadvertently down again because Ableton just loves to break my brain. Yeah, okay, it is on there. That's why that sounded weird. Yeah, just do it go like this. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine and good and great. Um, You're angry. Why are you so angry? Flipping the script. Remember to save. Hey everybody, remember to save.
I am going to bring in my own reverb here because I'm a glutton for punishment and I feel like um, using the bus reverb for this is just going to cause more headaches than anything else uh, because I need to like massively low cut this and high cut this. So the prob the problem I have is that I want just the the one uh, snare strike to actually resonate, um, and it's not. Um, so uh, we can go to plan like F here, and we can. Um, Well, the problem is that I can't put it on its own track because the snare is in here. Um, so I'm going to double up the snare. And then I'll put the reverb on that. Um, which I think will still work fine. Because we can mess around with this a little bit more. Oh, yeah, um, that's not a bad idea either, but I think doubling things up here will give me a little bit more flexibility when it comes to Hello Jake to um, just kind of wiggling these around a little bit so it feels a like a little bit more like a double double snare tap thing. I don't know, maybe, maybe it'll suck, who knows. I can also do something like this. some ghost notes in there yeah yeah I think I think having some structure at this point will do this song some good. Like, I don't, I don't want to go nuts with this kind of stuff, but I also like having these little fills just to make it a little bit more interesting. Yes, a little Phil Collins. Everybody needs a little Phil Collins, right? Yeah. Um, ended up with that oh. <laughs> gotcha I honestly don't know much about Phil Collins so any any puns slash jokes you send my way will probably go over my head and if that was somehow a pun it was unintentional <laughs> 
Um, okay, so I'm going to scoot. I Well, the thing is, I've probably heard it, but that does not mean that I know who it's from. Um, That got a little too chromatic for me. Um, I like the first bit though. Um, That's a neat little solo. Um, like, narratively, I'm not entirely sure where this song is going. Um, but I do kind of like it.
like wiggles and changes here, but that's okay. Having, having these open spaces is something that I always, always forget to do. Um, like, it's not a bad idea to let your instrument breathe once in a while, even if it technically does not require breath to emit sound. Um, so, you know, I want to kind of go back and, and add some of these little pauses uh, because the bass is like so all encompassing. thinking like for this we can slowly increase uh some kind of uh intensity here not like anything crazy but just something to keep it moving just a little bit Next week is the community audio challenge. So Oh, no. Keep that saw 3. Um yeah, so I actually need to start uh, pinging people. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you want it to be that, you have to submit the audio for that. My pedal, my pedal, my pedal is my pedal just stuck on. Wow, I am just not able to talk anymore. My pedal. This is just one of those days. I actually kind of like that. save. try to bring this back
can always use twiggly bits saying poopy de scoop over and over again for some reason because uh, I needed creepy whispering and that's what she provided for me. This was also for the this is for the community audio challenge. Like um, I think this was for um, Lost Forest of Souls, which is honestly one of my one of my favorites. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have this not reversed. And then I'm going to throw a pitch hack on it to reverse it. Um, so it's going to be the best of both worlds. Um... And then what we can do, oh, how would this work? Put random whispering, whispering in, in Stuckgeist. Uh, the whispering I had, you want to, you want to, here, I think I sent this to you, but I found this when I was going through the discography. How much time? Oh, 20 minutes. We're fine. Um, when I was making the discography. It's in here somewhere. On a plagiarism. It was a long time ago, wasn't it? There it is. Um, like these are the whispers from the song "Moving On" that I made. I wrote down. I think what I did for this is I went to like Reddit's r slash breakups or something, and I just like pulled a random bunch of stuff out of it and it's just like some of these are really cool and some of them are pretty rough and yeah so if you're ever curious where I got the whispers in, in that song <laughs> so what I'm going to do here is I am going to have pitch hack um be the left channel or the right channel yeah pitch hack be the left channel and then dry be the right channel so we can go like this and then set the rate to like pretty low so we get like kind of this weird Haas effect going on but also actually kind of creepy to some piano stuff now I don't know I think this has kind of turned into a little bit of a jam where like we've kind of established this uh, structure for it and now we can just do whatever we want with it um, and my default is to do jam make make the jams does this actually change the pitch
that's too too basic. Trying stuff. There was one here. There we go. Way better. Um, and this is kind of hecked up for triplets anyway, so I'm going to scoot this a little bit closer to the grid. doesn't have to be perfect because, again, it's jazz, baby. Um, I really, really want to quickly resolve to the major here, but I just don't think I can make it happen. Actually, yeah, I can. Heck yeah. Nah. It sounds it sounds a little too far off. Which is fine. Shh Dotgeist. Yeah. It's a hard one to say. I was think I think I was talking about um two weeks ago I was talking about Kayana Scotzi. And I typed that word wrong. Which is unsurprising. Uh, because it has a Q without a U and two A's consecutively. Um, K O Y A A N A S Q I, I think. Koyanis Q A T S I. Whatever. Oops. Oh no, I hit all the wrong buttons. There we go. That's what it is. Thank you. See, I still can't remember. It's okay. You're allowed to have a life outside the stream. I allow it. I kind of want a gong here. Give me a gong. Um, excuse me. Why would you give me the first half of a gong? That's stupid. That's just a drum loop. Yeah, do this and then do this. Well, I mean... Wait, this goes here. Okay, so we need to pitch that up a little bit. 
Because I want to granularize at this, I think. Granualize. Jesus. Ableton is really working against me today, isn't it? We still need that. Getting like a little, trying to get like a drum fill or something in here just to make it a little bit more impactful. I know I'm running low on time. rain so often though <laughs> I was like oh man I could use rain again start channeling Adam from Lur um, oh um, but yeah I think um, yeah the vibe rainy street sparky power lines yeah and like the whole the infested power grid we kind of lost the we kind of lost the um the thread on that which is fine like it was it was used as an impetus for just like so big so vascular <laughs> i love adam i love let's nope is so great remember to save hey everybody remember to save okay this gong is not necessary Yeah, Adam and Ben, I that's a that's such a good combo. I mean, it's a not a bad stopping point for this song. Um Yeah, the games they play are on the whole, they're pretty terrible. Um which is unfortunate because, yeah, they're quite the duo together. Um, but horror games in general, and obviously there are good horror games out there. Yes, exactly. Spoopifer. I love that. I love that emote. Um, I, I feel that horror games in general are... I don't know. I don't want to say anything disparaging because there are a lot of people that work hard on games. But there's also just, like, so many games that, like... They just don't make, they're not good games, but they're jump scary. And I mean, it's the same thing with movies. Like you can make a, you can make a scary movie very easily because like you tap into those like fear reflexes, um, that people tend to have. Um, and like that part's easy. 
Yeah, horror horror is the lo-fi hip hop of visual media. <laughs> there. That's my hottest take of the year. Um <clears throat> I'm still yelling. Why am I yelling so much? It's like I'm a real streamer now. It means high fidelity. Yes, horror can be done. Horror can be done exceptionally well. Um, but for the most part, it's not. Um, and I'm just, I'm not an aficionado for that style, that genre. So I've like, I, I, my, my, um, my opinion is in general kind of invalid for that kind of stuff because like, it's just not, it's not my bag baby. Um, Yeah, CAPTCHA, exactly. I mean, that's that's the kind of the problem. Um, jump scares generally, and I'm I'm not like a psychologist or something, but it's like jump scares are designed to um they're designed to like tap into those fight or flight reflexes where it's just like, yes, you were scared briefly and now you're not. Haha, ha, look at the cool trick we did. And it's just like, yeah, you you flashed a spooky image with a loud noise on the screen. That's what happens. It's like <laughs> it's not rocket science. It's just regular basic basic science. <laughs> okay, let's listen to this whole thing. We're we're basically out of time anyway. Mix on this is going to be pretty wild, huh? Actually, this intro is a little loud and then it just gets... The bass is too loud. Yes, psychological thrillers are different. Um, because they don't rely on those cheap... It's... I hate to say cheap trick, but that's basically what it is. Not the band. Yeah, that's like the pseudo time travel one, kind of. I kind of remember that one. I watched it like a million years ago. Yeah, kind of capture, but I also feel like it's kind of low effort as well. And I also feel like the, 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 the game got away from the creator because it got so popular. But again, like, this is all hearsay for me. Yeah, exactly. That does not that does not work. Um, so we have an interesting um, sequencing issue here. That I'm not really sure how to resolve because I would love to have this gong 
play. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Um, yes, we're, we're trying to make it sparkly. Um, so basically what I want is I want everything to fade out and then I want this gong to kind of bring everything back in. And the easiest way that I can think of to do that is to resample this whole bit here. Um, actually, no, that should be fine. Actually, no, that's not going to be fine. Um, I'm going to resample it from here. Oh, shit. Okay, hold up. Hold up a sec. I have I have this like echo tail from the the prior thing so stop echoing Okay Yeah, we're on plan like J, J I said F before. We're on plan like T Alarm. Oh no! Alarm. Okay, so we have this, um, which we're gonna just chuck down here. Uh, yes, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this, and we're gonna go like this. And then we can not do this because it's already recorded and automated. I hate doing stuff like this. I had a dust boot sample to that. So this should work. Now we'll see if I actually like this. Yeah, that's like a thousand percent better. Um, this also needs to get muted too, because this was doubled up. Yeah, so you see what I mean? We can still have... Ah, yes, I never saw that movie. So what we have here is we basically uh, froze all this. We broke it down into a sample and then we placed that sample. Uh, we replaced that sample in lieu of all of these instruments. And then we got rid of the filter for this because this filter was getting in the way of the gong because there was a filter sweep back up as the gong was playing, which wouldn't have worked. So it's kind of a roundabout way of doing this, but the only other way that I could think of to do it is to render out the whole song, create a new project file, drop that one sample in there, and then render out the whole song again, which is um, ostensibly the same thing, but also way more annoying. <laughs> so I didn't want to do that. Um, and it's slightly less non-destructive it's still fairly destructive if i wanted to go back and like edit this section because i'd have to i'd have to unmute all these sections mute this section go and redo the automation for this and it would be a pain but it would be in the same project file which i feel is is more uh important um so yeah this is the song let's actually listen to all of it because i got distracted like immediately after i started playing it um let's just go right here um anyway for everybody that stuck around thank you so much for sticking around it means a lot to me these are a little loud huh Um, this is a bit of a weird one. I struggled a lot, um, which is like, it's frustrating to struggle, but it's also the reason why I stream because then like when moments like this happen, I can be like, it happens to everybody, you know, sometimes you got to power through it. 
It's still a little loud. Um, let's try it like here. That's better. Um, and it brings up a really good point when it comes to like creative issues where it's the, I'll, I'll talk after this because that's actually something I want to talk about for a little bit. I want to make sure the song is good before I get sidetracked again. less of a rant than more of an observation, but yeah. Okay, so that's okay, that's fine. Zaxis, this is what I was talking about. I, I'm sure you're familiar with how it works, but like finding the general frequency area of one instrument, which is around the 1k range, and then going into this, and then like making sure that that's cut out of that range. Yeah, I do want to resolve that. I think that it's good that we resolve it. Yeah, so basically I was looking at the piano here. Remember to say you can see the, the root tones are in this like 800 to 1000 range. So I went, oops, that was a little off, but I went in here and I set a quick automation up to scoop out that range so the piano cuts through a little better because before it was not cutting through super well. So it's kind of a manual fiddly thing, but it helps. Because the problem, the problem with this is that it was, uh, yeah, it's it's annoying, but it works really well once you kind of get used to the process. Um, this is just taking up so much uh, of the frequency headroom because there is like this really thick roads and it has this really thick reverb on it and it's just like it's taking up a lot of space. And I was initially looking at this microtonal stuff, but then I realized that I have this uh, low pass on it, so nothing's really getting in the way. <clears throat> And the drums are so transient based here that they're really not getting in the way either. It's just this. So I had to diagnose the song and figure out which layer was the problem. And then from there, I was able to uh, figure it out. I'm losing my voice, so that's cool. Um, so anyway, I like this song. I am glad that we powered through it. And I wanted to kind of talk about that real quick. Um, because like it's so 
it's so easy to start a project and be like, oh, this sucks and start another project and be like, oh, this sucks. Um, nah, I just, I've just yelled a lot for some reason in this stream. Um, but, um, I really struggled with this song. Um, and I was very, very close to starting over a second time during this stream. And, um, thankfully you guys chat, um, specifically, I think it was Amy and Jake, Jake and Zaxis and, you know, whoever else was in there before, um, offered some suggestions like parallels on what ways things could go. And that helped crystallize things for me. But, um, like, I just feel like it's so easy to approach a song or approach a project. It doesn't necessarily have to be music related. Um, let's get the tail end of this, but, um, and then just be like, oh, this sucks. And then not really move forward with it. Uh, when it could easily be fixed or kind of remade and, and into something that really works. But it's... It's finding that, that comfort level, that, that level of patience for you that really, that really is important. Because... Um, I kind of lost my thread on this one, honestly, but it's, let me see if I can, let me see if I can find my, my thought and I can start over. So I was really struggling with this song. Um, and I had already being brave, centering yourself and sticking with it to help a lot. Yes. So I was struggling with this song and I had already started over once. Um, and it's not that I don't mind starting over beat reaction uh i do not play other people's music on my music making streams uh just because of copyright reasons more than anything else um yeah no worries um so yeah this is i started <laughs> I, I i can't i can't think of my thoughts anymore i've had a long day um so i have been uh i struggled with this song a lot um and i wanted to start over and I spent that extra like five minutes on it. And those five minutes recatalyzed my love for it because I kind of discovered the things that I wanted to figure out on it. Um, and I just didn't have the vocabulary to actually uh, to do. Uh, so like I, I got this like really spooky vibe in the beginning. I was like, oh, that's neat and cool. And then people started suggesting like Black Earth and a lot of other like dark ambient and dark jazz stuff and um, like the Resident Evil soundtrack. Um, and I, I really wanted to um, go in that direction because I had that like I had that uh, inspiration thanks to Chet. Um, and it's so easy to just like slash stump something and start over, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get anything better from it. You know, um, it's, it's, it's something where you have to find that, that how long you want to stick to something before it doesn't, before you like make the decision that it doesn't work. Um, and that's, that's something that I really struggle with. Um, even still, like I've been writing music for 20, almost 25 years now actually 25 years now holy cow um and i still struggle with this where it's just like here let's let me i'll, I'll keep talking i'll render this out i want to make sure that this loops good that's fine um <clears throat> it's a little bit of an awkward loop but i think it kind of encompasses everything um but like i i wanted to I wanted to keep working on this, but I didn't know how. And I wanted to start over because I was frustrated. And I just, I, I was I was bumping up against a wall and I didn't know how to bypass it. And I was just like, this sucks and I'm getting pissed. I just need to start over. And I stuck with it for literally like another three minutes. And then I was like, I am in love with this song. I want to keep working on it. And it's, it's so hard to find that, um, that flipping point, you know, like when it actually hooks you in and that does not happen immediately, especially not on most tracks. Like there are some things you work on where it's just like you instantly love it and you want to just work on it. But there are so many times where like you approach a project 
and you start it and you're just like, oh man, I'm, I'm encountering a lot of resistance with this. I don't want to continue. And you stop and you just kind of leave it in your, your works in progress folder forever. And it just kind of molders there, you know? Um, whereas if you have that idea and you love it and you know that there's like cool things in there, you just don't know how to like chisel them out. Um, that it takes time and it takes effort and it's hard. Um, but as an artist, you have to learn that like breaking point that you have where it's just like, is this worth working on right now? Is this worth spending my time on? Um, and as much as I loved the first song I started in this stream, I just did not know where to go with it. Like it was a neat track. It had some cool ambient stuff, but it just like, oh, sorry. Uh, it just like, it was not doing it for me and I didn't know how to make it work. So I started over and then this, which, which turned into this track. And then this track, I was like, it was not working for me. And I was like, I wanted to start over. Um, but I stuck with it and you know, this song made it, this song made it into a full realized idea. Whereas this one, like, I think it was cool, but like here it was just like, it's like this lo-fi hip hop kind of stuff, which is neat. But and maybe that maybe I'll come back to this one at some point, but I mean, there's like cool stuff you can do with it. Um, and like, it actually really is really cool. I might come back to it at some point, but like, I wanted to, yeah, exactly. I wasn't feeling it. And like, it didn't have that hook for me. And that hook is really, I mean, blues traveler and, you know, hook brings you back, but, um, it's like, I don't want to work on a song that I'm not vibing with. And, I want to make sure that I have that vibe before I continue because there's been so many streams where I'm just like, well, this is what I'm stuck with. I guess we're just going to mash our head against the keyboard until something cool comes out. And it rarely does when I have that mindset. Um, but if I get hooked into a song, if I'm like, I understand the vibe that that's like that I'm going for, I, I understand what's happening with this track and I have the like knowledge and the capability to actually realize this track. And at the start of this song, like two hours ago, when I started this song, I had no idea what to do with it. But now like listening to it now, I'm like, well, I could add a cool little bass, like bass guitar under it. I have the piano going like this could be a, a cool, chill, lo-fi hip hop track. Um, I kind of know where I could put this track on a future album. Totally cool. I might work on it later. Um, but like at the time I had nothing and it was getting, it was frustrating. And I was like, ah, screw it. I'll just start over. Um, and I don't know the, the whole point that I'm trying to say is like, you have to understand like what, what gets you inspired, what gets you moving for this kind of stuff. And like, for me, having, having chat here helps a lot because it gives me that, that, uh, those little impulses where it's just like, you know, this is cool, but what if you, it's not even changing the song. It's basically just like me going like this and just being like looking at it from a slightly different direction. And it's just like, I had the song that we made today and it was like this dark spooky thing, whatever. And then, uh, I think it was Amy that, uh, that was just like, well, what if you thought of it like black earth? And I was like, oh shit, this fits really well. Um, and then everything just kind of fell into place, like um, like a Tetris puzzle or whatever, where it's just like all of a sudden everything just clicked into place. And I was like, oh, I know exactly what to do with this project. Um, and like that just very slight shift in perspective. And obviously everybody else who was able to contribute and chat 
uh, with ideas and everything. But it's like that very slight shift in perspective was just like exactly what I needed to understand the the purpose of this song. I, I can't remember which which of the great sculptors is it was, but it's like if you wanted to carve something out of marble, you just take everything that's not the subject, and it's just like that's that's kind of exactly what uh what kind of happened there where it's just like this perspective shift where it's just like well i'm not really making a spooky thank you michelangelo i'm not making a spooky track i'm making like a dark ambient jazzy track um and that recontextualization of what i had already made suddenly made a lot more sense was like I, I know all the components for that. I can add like an upright bass. I have like some jazzy piano stuff that I can do. I know like the, the chord progressions, the one to the flat second, you know, the um, blip, blip, blip. That kind of stuff where it's just like all of that stuff fits together. So, yeah, I mean, stick with your projects, I guess. Because um, it's it's really important not to let them languish. Uh, if you have a good idea and just stick with it, but also understand that sometimes you just need to drop it and move on. And I, I always get really sad when people like don't save works in progress where they're just like, oh, this sucks. And just like new. And it's like, well, <laughs> you know, even bad ideas can be reused or bad ideas have nuggets of good ideas in them. And it's so easy to just like get mad at your project. Oh man, I never do that. Like I have, and I've, I've talked about this before, but I have a, a folder called the black hole where songs go in and they don't come out. And I've got lots in there. And back in my uh, FL studio days, I had way, way more. Um, I also have the not really finished projects folder, which is even bigger. Um, so it's like, I, I rarely throw anything away um, unless it's like truly, truly like, oh man. Um, but like, I don't know, like, I think I mentioned this either last stream or the stream prior, where it's just like uh, my D&D &D friends way back in the day were like, sometimes you don't make it to level two, and sometimes songs don't make it to level two, and that's okay. Um, but I think that it it takes some, some effort, and uh, it can get there if you just, like, either give it some time to breathe, or you, you get some outside insight to recontextualize it. Yeah, being, sorry, being mad is the wrong word. Uh, like, being frustrated as an artist, where it's just like, you know, I want to have a good idea right now. <laughs> Which, you know, never happens. Um, but, yeah. I, I don't know, like... It's... I, I, I wanted to talk about that a little bit, because it's something that... I've been I've been actually struggling with a lot the the past couple streams like last stream I had to restart the two hour track challenge where I had to restart the song in the two hour track challenge and it was really an hour and a half track challenge. Same with this one, and it's just like man, what was the song that we started last week? I think it was not good. Kind of bland project. Remember yeah. To save. <laughs> I still saved it, but I don't think it was very good. Um. Yeah, it's just like sometimes you sometimes you don't make it to level two. Yep, pretty bland. Like you can you can save any song. It just might require a different like perspective. It requires a different perspective. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. I, I really appreciate people <laughs> listening to me talk. Um uh, Yeah, there and there's a lot of options for that, which is the other reason why I don't really ever like destroy projects. Like you could use this for something. Like at some point I, sh I should go through all my old projects and just like sample them and then I can reuse them. You can have a second life somewhere. 
anyway, I'm going to get going. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. Um, I'm, I'm really glad that we managed to make something, um, even though like an hour or even 45 minutes into this stream, we had literally nothing, uh, but we made it. We got there, and that makes me happy. Um, don't save the go through my old projects. Yeah, I don't go through my old projects either. Except for when I was building my discography, I went through into my unreleased stuff, and I have um, uncategorized Shaf, <laughs> which is uh, about 60 songs that, uh, like, nobody's really heard before. Oh, we have this one. Eric, remember this? This was a fun, this is a fun jam. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get going, but um, one of our Jameses, yep, one of our Jameses. Um, but I'm gonna get going guys. Thank you so much for hanging out today. I really do appreciate it I hope that you have a fantastic rest of the day rest of the week And I think I'll be around this weekend. I say that every time I think I'll be around this weekend I don't really know. Yeah, we should we should try to do I don't it's gonna be a little harder since you're halfway across the country But doing another jam would be fun. So Yeah um, Have a good one. Love y'all. See ya. Bye. I Don't know after party. I don't really know what to talk about in the after party. The, the one minute long after party um, like I appreciate everybody's uh, kind words and encouragement like I've had like season 20 has been super rad I, I really love all of the songs that have come out of season 20 but man I'm kind of struggling and hopefully um, hopefully we can um, we can have a, uh, a really cool uh, community audio challenge next week uh, I gotta start hassling people on the Discord to uh, get me some audio because I think it's slim pickings right now. So I'm gonna get going. Hope you all have a good one. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>